Hello everyone, welcome back to Raise Aerospace and Kerbal Space Program 2, where I continue my construction of the International Space Station with STS-120A. There was no actual STS-120A, but we have to redo the Harmony launch because, of course, in the previous video, the Harmony launch did not quite work out. We couldn't quite get Harmony to attach to the station. We got it there, but it wouldn't attach to that docking port. Now, I don't know if it's going to attach to that docking port now. We eliminated the PMA2 from the save, we eliminated the old Harmony module from the save, and we brought the shuttle back down. Hopefully, the docking port has reset, or we will reconsider its fate, uh, and we can dock the new Harmony module to it. In the bay, we have a Harmony module plus a PMA2, uh, so we are replacing the old PMA2 here. Uh, we are sending more mod propellant than usual, uh, so it won't replenish the station supply at all, but at least it'll ensure that we can get the docking done if there's any possibility of it. Maybe I was just doing a bad job docking, uh, but this time we'll have enough fuel to make sure that I do it properly. And my expectation is that even if we sent more fuel to the space station, it's not going to stay there. It's just going to vanish. So I don't really see a need to fully resupply the space station with a whole lot of uh, mod propellant. So we are going to try this out and we have a crew of Valentina, Pudald, uh, Podrim, and Billald. So yeah. Well, let's see if this works out. We're all lined up and we are undersupplied on the mod propellant accidentally again. That's because of the craft file and I'll just top that off with the mod propellant that we've got clipped into the external tank once we get to close to orbit. So, ignition. And launch. Uh, okay, I was worried that the struts weren't properly connected, but right now it's looking okay. So, even though I've removed all sorts of debris, and there is no visible debris here right now, uh, there's nothing else. There is still debris in the tracking station, but I don't know how to get rid of it. And still, there's lag in the VAB. I don't know why having the International Space Station there should create more lag in the VAB than we had before when I was constructing the shuttle, but it, there is. So, that is the situation at the moment. There's also some context music. I wonder if there's a Kraken Strike music, or a Kraken Approaching music. They should have special music if it turns out that your craft is going close to the speed of light, because that's sure enough a uh, sign that the Kraken is struck. Okay, we are past the speed of sound, looking good overall. And booster separation. Uh, uh, oh, knock the wing, knock the wing. Yeah, with the shuttle landings, I have come to the conclusion that what I need to do is aim for the center of the runway instead of the threshold. And just think of the center of the runway as the start of the runway, and maybe I'll make it more properly like that. Okay, we are on track. Corrected inclination. It is my goal to try and finish the station before the update. After all, the premise of the station was whether it could be done in this version of KSP, the initial release version. First of all, we have to make sure Harmony actually attaches to the station. If Harmony doesn't want to attach to the station, if that docking port is unusable, then we're in a bind because we can't connect the Japanese module or Columbus to it then. And so that end will sort of be unusable. You'll see. So a lot hinges on this particular mission. Okay. Separation. Okay. Proceeding. As far as where the rest of the debris is, I wonder if it's like reach escape velocity or something, you know, uh, being a glitchy mess kind of thing. Oh yeah, some of them have. So there's, there's two there. Yeah. I was wondering if some glitched right out of the system. 
Well, we could probably destroy that one, hopefully, safely. Let's destroy that one. Okay, well, there's two that was like that were like that. But that's it. There's a lot more in the tracking station that I still can't figure out. And there's our payload in there. So basically, same as before, except we've got the PMA there, and we've got larger RCS tanks back here, and also the PMA has its small RCS tanks as well. Okay, we have our approach, 3.3 kilometers. I think I'm going to keep it like that and keep the shuttle relatively further away. 3.9 kilometers away. Pretty far away, but we'll just rely on the payload to make up that difference. I'm going to save, of course, especially after the previous episode's debacles. Okay, it is out of the bay. But we have a long trip ahead of us. I guess... Default name 23, yeah, that's what it was. Default name 23, that's our station, all right. All right, 10 meters per second is all I'm willing to do there. Well, as we uh, get close to the target periapsis for the shuttle, as we move it away from the station and our other module, I'm keeping an eye on both to make sure that the uh, module has not actually reached the station yet. Really wish I had put better lights on the station though. Well, we're approaching the moment of truth about whether that docking port is actually usable or not. Uh, it doesn't seem to be lined up very well. Hold on. I'm trying to correct here, but... It seems to lie to me half the time about the target location. But we sort of expected that we would have to back off and try again. Doesn't help that SAS is firing all over the place. I don't know. I, I don't feel a lot of magnetism here. Uh, increase the docking acquiring force. But nothing is being acquired. It is my target. But I'm going to have to back off again. Come on. Yeah, there's no magnetism, folks. Um, I think that docking port's busted. I had them completely askew before on some missions. Uh, they're not joining. I'm gonna go away from it, come back, and see if that helps. Yeah, well, we're a little bit askew, I'll give it that, but it's not helping. We will have to just not try that, or maybe after we dock other stuff, but this has been grueling. We'll just try and get the shuttle down again. It is attempt number two at this, and that did not work out either. But I cannot express my disappointment. I tried, but alas. We have gotten this far, but it really doesn't look like that node's going to cooperate. Okay, I think we will come down on this orbit, though we're probably going to be north of the KSC like this, so we'll tilt our orbit at the appropriate time. We do have some extra fuel to work with. Well, I don't think we can do too much more. Uh, our periapsis is going down. So, we'll just orient properly. Okay, we have an impact point. We're trying to turn pretty drastically here, because we are definitely going north, or, depending on our point of view, west of the KSC. Okay, it's predictably coming in a little bit quickly, so I'm going to use the engines. We're a bit heavy anyway. So, we're quite a bit like this, and we can see the Space Center area. 
trying to turn even more drastically, but it's tough. All right, well, here we go again. I think I should probably just straighten up. We'll probably have to do the U-turn again. Oop, camera has changed. Changed a little bit early, so... I don't know how exactly this is going to go, to be honest. In other words, normally the camera changed when we were closer to the Space Center. We're in the uncomfortable part between where we should do a U-turn and where we should go straight in. If we were a lot slower and lower, we would go straight in. If we were a lot higher and faster, we would do the U-turn. And this area is a little bit iffy for both <laughs> in terms of our speed and height. So not feeling super comfortable. I'll actually use the engines so that we gain some speed while they're still somewhat effective and lighten up. Oh, it's it's deviating. Oh shoot. Okay, cut the engines. Oh boy. Engines might not have been a good thing. Uh, still no point there. Okay, that is... For future reference, not a good time to use the engines. Okay, well, if you want to roll, roll. I am not picky about that right now. Uh, well, we're probably going to have to do a dive and pull up, actually. Oh, the Space Center is so tempting right there. No, I don't think we have the energy to go there, do we? I think we should go to the beach. Oh, shucks. I think I'm trying to go for the runways, even though I shouldn't. Oh, uh, I don't know. We're running the engines right now. Once they stop, I don't know what kind of situation we'll be in. Trying to get over there. But we have a lot of vertical speed. Even though the vertical speed indicator never shows it. Got a lot of vertical speed. It's gotta be a rough turn into the runway, but I'm gonna remember not to aim for a threshold. Not we're not aiming for a threshold, we're aiming for the middle of the runway. I never use the whole runway anyway. It's a wasted runway the way it is. And this is no way for a shuttle to approach a landing. Like I said, we're aiming for the middle. <laughs> uh, uh. Pull up, pull up, pull up, pull up. Pull up. Come on. Uh, uh, okay, brakes, brakes, turn a little bit, okay, okay, no, no, it's fine, yeah, aiming for the middle of the runway, good idea, <laughs> stop, we have survived, folks, well, we couldn't deliver the module we were supposed to, but we have survived, I would like to do another mission this episode, though. I don't feel good about leaving it the way it is, but it's going to take some time. Well, Valentina, Hudald, Podrim, and Bilald are the first to make a sort of more proper landing at the runway, depending on how you feel about that approach, but they're intact. 
It's a rare thing. They are intact. And we didn't stall or bounce this time around. So... It's a horrible strategy, but it's the strategy we need to do in order to get back to the runway, it seems. Aim for the middle. Dive at 40 degrees instead of the normal shuttle 20-ish degrees. And... Yeah. Yeah. Why does it seem... Oh, uh, from this distance it looks like the uh, wing is full of holes, doesn't it? Anyway, <laughs> we will recover Vestal now. Okay folks, I decided to go with a last ditch attempt to rescue Harmony, and that is to change the way I undocked PMA2. So we're all the way back to the original shuttle mission to deliver Harmony. And what I want to do is make sure that we're controlling from a controller on the station and not the docking port at the end, or any docking port. Uh, I think that might ensure that the station itself retains the name Combined 30, and that might help. It's a theory. Uh, I have no guarantees. So there's the controller at the end of this PMA. Okay, we've released the PMA. And the station is called Combine 30. Does that mean that the docking port's still gonna work? I don't know. It didn't save the game. Yeah, it's not saving game. Uh, what I'm gonna do, let's go to the tracking station. And try and save over here. It still doesn't save. Okay. Fine. Well, I'm just gonna proceed on the theory. This is approaching quickly. I'm gonna see if we can dock with PMA2 to pick it up. This is a horrible idea, of course. Will there be any docking? Or is, like, docking just not gonna happen with these things? What if the port that's a problem is actually on the Harmony module? Well, they're pretty lined up and they're not docking. So, maybe the problem is now the PMA's port? And the port on the station is okay? Or maybe they're all messed up. Well, we can't grab the PMA. We tried. We're going to try and go to the station now. On the bright side, since we already oriented to the PMA, we're more or less oriented to the port as well. Since the PMA released directly away from the port, and this time did not spin. Uh, the fact that it didn't spin may or may not be a good sign going forward though, considering I can't save the game right now. Oh, it docked! It docked. Okay, but now we have another problem. Okay, we docked the Harmony module. Okay, yeah, I've docked, but I don't... I can't save the game. I've docked, but I can't save the game, and it doesn't make any auto saves no matter what I do. So, I'm gonna try and get rid of the Wayward PMA and hope that helps. Now, I can't still... I still can't save, folks. I'm gonna try one more thing. I'm gonna try and manually remove the saves from the folder that are more recent. Now, getting rid of the saves that are more recent does not seem to have worked. Yeah, so the situation is that I type in the save and click save, but it doesn't actually save the game at that point. And... I'm gonna try and get rid of the debris. I had done that previously, but uh, that was before the save that we picked up on. It's not a matter of the save file size, the save file size is just 7.5 megabytes right now. It's still reading the mop propellant of the station. I'll try and get to stop that, I don't know. It's so nice with that module there. I mean, I think the module's rotated just a little bit wrong, as usual, but... Okay, no, it's not sa it's not saving the game. So I'm going to have to abandon this sort of attempt. It's not saving the game. So yeah. I'm gonna restore the other saves. The one so our most recent mission will not have been wiped off of history and but we will not have the harmony module. 
Okay, so we're going to attempt to proceed with STS-119 and the S6 Trust launch. And let's see if it's actually working right now. Well, the fuel line works. And it appears the struts work, so we are good to go. We have Milgar, Jebin, Poddorf, and Gilgard. But the main struggle is, will the thing dock? And then after we dock the S6 truss, can we use some of its fuel to fuel up the P6 truss so that the P6 truss can move to the right location? And will that cause any issues? Will the P6 truss be able to dock, considering what happened with the PMA2 and the PMA2's docking port not working? Or is that just a PMA2 special? We had previously relocated the PMA2. So, that's complicated. Uh, where Wherein lies the bug? Anyway, but this truss isn't identical to a P6. And that's because I've added more mod propellant so that we can add mod propellant to the P6 truss. And we also have uh, extra RCS ports to ease with docking, hopefully. Okay, booster is set. Alright. Proceeding. And that should be good enough. Alright. External tank disposal time. Okay, separation. Moving away. And there's our truss. The last truss we need to add to the station. Okay, orbital burn complete. Now phasing with the target. Okay, we have our approach. Oh, stop, stop. Once again, just going into the dark side though. Why is it always like this? I have no idea. Maybe it's just time of year or something. Okay, we are 756 meters away from the station, and we are going to begin matching speeds. And then we'll get the payload out. I'm going to make sure that payload has as much mop propellant as possible. Okay, I have saved and verified that the save actually happened, and we are now going to get the payload out of the bay. Payload coming out of the bay. We'll control from here. I'll get some docking acquiring force, but not a whole lot. Okay, the truss is on its way. The station appears to be stable and intact, though we don't know if the docking ports work. And with the shuttle, I'm going to try to get it further away. I don't know what fuel load it's measuring right now. This says 9.7, that side says 8.92. Nothing around here has... Uh, it looks like this is reading the amount before we release the truss, and that's reading the amount after we release the truss. Okay, that should do the trick for now. Back to the truss. Okay, we are slowing down and approaching. Okay, well, the longish bit is Zarya and Zvezda. So that's there. So this is the starboard side. So I think we're approaching the starboard side properly. Well, I guess we can sort of look at it like that. That's how we're lined up right now. I'm actually pushing forward now, and it's still not going forward. Because SAS is doing so much other stuff. I'll turn SAS off. It's crazy. Oh, we docked. Oh gosh, that was pretty off too. Okay, well we docked. That's the good thing. Let's save. 
We're gonna bring the shuttle down and then do the P6 truss, but I don't know if the mod propellant's gonna hold like that. Uh, maybe we should do the P6 truss first. The shuttle, I don't think, will get affected. Okay, I've confirmed that the save happened. The one thing we can't do is time warp. I'd r rather do the P6 truss in daylight. Let's unfurl the S6 truss. I don't know if it's gonna look right or not. It might be rotated weird. Yeah, there may be some unmatched rotation in the two solar panel trusses. But, you know, if only we had robotics. <laughs> well, as if that wouldn't create even more glitches. Okay, transferring fuel into the P6 truss. Uh, somehow, more fuel got transferred than existed. We had 0.17 tons available. And they got 0.2. And this still has 0.04 left. See, these tanks were the same. These had 0 0.17, 0 0.17. Uh, we have only 0.83 here. Well, but, uh, yeah, we, not only, and now we have 0.83 here. We weren't supposed to have 0.83 here. Mob propellant has appeared out of nowhere. Let me make a different save. <laughs> now, mind you, I don't mind getting mob propellant out of nowhere, because it sure took a lot from me from previous. Like... We've lost a lot that we ought to have had, but still, it's probably not a good thing. Okay, the shuttle is in its standby orbit. Let me save and then go to the tracking station to see uh, what we can do with the P6 truss now. Okay, here's the station. And there's our two trusses. Slight difference, but not too bad. We still have the fuel. And I'm gonna save again, and then we're gonna try and move the P6 truss. Alright. Truss is out. With the truss out, I'm going to go to the tracking station and come back. That's, uh, hopefully mitigating thing. So that doesn't spin out of control, but who knows. Why do I hear wind? <laughs> Why do I hear wind? Okay, that seems parallel. Uh, go a little bit more. That seems parallel to the truss. Do you hear wind? I hear wind. Okay, backing off. Okay, well, with those solar panels out, it's a little bit dodgy right now. Oh, okay, we connected. Okay, okay. Well, here goes nothing. Final set re-unfurling. If we had the radiators, we'd have to retract the ones on Zarya. But right now we don't have the radiators, so we won't do that yet. Okay, well, that's something done. As they turn to face the sun. Okay, we did successfully save. So anyway, we've got all our solar panels on. That's the important part. We're definitely not oriented right. Uh, in fact, uh, backward in probably every way. Uh, this side should be facing forward. Anyway, technical details. Let's bring the shuttle back down. I don't think we can keep the station oriented the same way all the time anyway, so... Okay, we probably want a higher orbit. We're definitely not lining up with the Space Center properly here. Okay, so that's a 34 minute orbit right there. You can tell because it's a 17 minute gap and you double it. Since our apoapsis is a little bit higher than normal, I'm going to go slightly lower than normal on the periapsis.
just a little bit, 22.6, but our load coming down is about normal. Yeah, no correction needed here. Okay, looking good on descent and waiting for our impact point to show up. Since it hasn't showed up already, I'm going to pitch up a little bit. Trying to get more drag here. Again, we would rather get more drag than less. We can probably extend our orbit with the fuel, but we will have trouble managing it if we go too long. Pitching down, of course, helps as well, but I'd rather just get rid of the mop propellant if we need to extend our path. Yeah, pitching up as much as possible. We are definitely coming in hot here. Space center's right there. Trying to get rid of speed, but we're maxing out our pitch right now. I think I can manage it, but it's tough. Okay, turning. Hopefully without any funny business. I'll try and use the engines after we turn. There's no point in this direction. Okay, we can probably use the engines now. That's a heck of a down angle, though. Look at where our prograde vector is, like negative 60 degrees. Come on, lift. Okay. Got a shot here again. <laughs> uh, it's an intimidating angle, let me tell you. Will this be the first time I wish I had a drag chute? I'm gonna turn the engines off now. Have I mentioned recently I hate doing this with keyboard? I, I saw the recommendation for how we might use the joystick, but I, I would rather they just fix the joystick support. <laughs> uh, I don't want to encourage them to rely on us using a workaround. Oh, don't click that. I don't know what that does. Okay, pull up, pull up, pull up. Okay, go down still. Go down softly. Go down softly. A little bit. Okay, you have to keep going down though before you lose speed. Okay, we're down. Brakes. Yeah, I still don't need a drag chute. <laughs> oh gosh, what is it doing? What is it doing? No! Whatever you're doing, don't do that. <laughs> Why is it skidding off? Okay, somewhat imperfect at the end, but uh, we, we landed safely and firmly on the runway. Okay, Milgar, or Milgar, Jebin, Podroff, and Gilgard did successfully deliver the S6 truss to the station. And let's check back with the station now. Alright, that's our station. So, with that, we have our trusses in order. But... The front end isn't quite right, we don't have harmony, so we'll have to work on that and whatever other modules we can manage to send up, and I'll try and get as much done before the patch as possible. But for now, thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video, if you did please do press like, if you have any comments or suggestions please leave them in the comment section below, and I will see you next time.